Hi. How are you? How's it going? Um, here we are. I'm going to play a video game on the internet. That's weird. Um, I have been... I am approaching 30, and I've been, kind of for the first time in my life recently, been um, feeling very nostalgic in a way I haven't felt before about things I really loved when I was a kid. Um, and kind of at the top of that list, maybe, is the, this this video game, uh, The Elder Scrolls for Oblivion. Um, it is a game, you know, in middle school and early high school, uh, when I was feeling very lonely and struggling to branch out um this was a game i spent a lot of time in and not only have i been wanting to play it but there's a really big part of this game there's a, a, a an expansion called the shivering isles that i never touched um and and, and now i'm an adult and i can just go buy that so i purchased it and i want to play this game again and i'm gonna try to do it on a camera here this is too much this is too much of my face being large we're gonna switch there we go Let's do this. So uh, I'm going to. I'm not streaming this because that's too scary, and this is brand new. I, uh, my laptop is on a laundry basket, and it's this is a real precarious uh, new situation to me. So we're, we're we're learning as we go. But I'm gonna play this, uh, and I guess I'm gonna put it on YouTube. I don't know. We're gonna see. Maybe this never comes out. Maybe nobody watches it. I don't know. Um, but we're we're gonna figure it out together. I'm drinking right now. Um, I'm drinking. Here, I'm gonna eat, like a beauty blog. Let me. Beauty blogger, this this is a trailside. Uh, uh, <laughs> this is a trailside IPA from um, who is this from? From Trillium in uh, Cambridge, Massachusetts, Harvard Square. Um, let's play a video game together. Um, here it is. Look at that man. Close shut the jaws of oh, we're gonna find him. We're gonna close the jaws. Everyone, everyone wins. Um, wow, look at it. Here we are. Um, look at this. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I've been trying to get this working for so long. I'm like astounded it's really working. But, um, okay, first thing to mention. The theme song for this is the same theme song as Skyrim. Uh, we just didn't notice that. Uh, I already have a character going here, but we're going to make, we're going to make a new one. We're going to start a new game. Let's go to jail. This is Patrick Stewart. Five years, I've ruled as Tamriel's emperor. Patrick Stewart is in this game for about five minutes. Five years, I've never been the ruler of my own dreams. This was kind of before the era of uh, big celebrities showing up in video games, a la Martin Sheen in Mass Effect. Behold, others. In darkness, Behold, doom sweeps the land. It's pretty hard to downplay how excited I was about this game and you know watching these pixelated crummy little videos of this uh, on my purple uh, iMac and how mind-blowing this was last scene, the year of Akatosh 433 these are the closing days of the third era and the final it's true. Like, come on! I believe this was the game that really famously, um, there was an interview with one of the creators. I can't remember his name. It was probably Todd Howard. And he specifically, in this trailer, pointed to one of these mountains and said, do you see that mountain? You can go there. And about how that was the whole philosophy of this game, was they wanted to make a world where you'd look in the distance and see a thing, and that was not, um, that was not a... Uh, What's the word in movies? Uh, painted, a painted backdrop. It was that was if you saw it, it was real. You know. Okay, let's make a dude. Um, or perhaps a lady. Um, I think I almost. Oh, when I was a kid, I would kind of go back and forth between you know the classic, uh, 
making yourself or making a woman I thought was attractive and wished to uh, gaze upon while playing a video game. Um, I don't think we're going to do either of those things. I want to say I was a wood elf originally. I remember taking hours to make character the first time I did this. I remember looking up all these character stats and treating it like uh, I was choosing a college major. I think I was a high elf. I remember I built a magic character that didn't use magic because I didn't understand. Maybe we'll just be an imperial. That's kind of boring. Let's be a nor woman. Nope, not an orc. I don't. I don't know if I'm gonna mess with any of this. Let's just go random. Okay. Honestly, that seems fine. <laughs> Looking very pallid in the way kind of everyone in this game looks. Everyone has a a weird sheen. Let's, let's do one more. Oh, it's some real mass, mashed potato. That's fine. Orange, blue. You do look a little blue. Let's make you a little more orange. There we go. I think we're just going to roll with that. We could mess with this for hours. This hair seems fine. Let's make you a little older. Are you a left complexion or a right complexion? Everyone wants to know. What is this slider doing? Okay, so left, this person got a little more gaunt and a little more orange. And here they're getting a little more pale and a little a little more chubby cheeks. Let's make a name. So when I was a kid, I would name all my male or, you know, dude characters Ziggy. After Ziggy Stardust, I now name all my female characters Betty in reference to the Paul Simon song, You Can Call Me Al. So let's let's uh, let's stick with that, I suppose. You can never be sure. And we're in jail. Um, oh no, I have to remember how to play the, a video game now. That's jump. There's a way to see yourself. No, nope, that's wait. There we go. We do the the sideways moonwalk. Your skin is so thin. By the way, this right here, these moving, that was the most amazing thing I'd ever seen at age 11. I couldn't imagine anything better than this. I bet you think you're pretty tough. I bet you can swing a sword and everything. Well, it doesn't matter. Not in here. It does no good to fight. But don't worry. A little far from this camera, aren't I? Treat the pretty girls nice. Right, Cody? Oh, that's right. You're going to die in here. Everybody dies. Hey, you hear that? The guards are coming. For you. <laughs> Oh, it's really good. <laughs> My job right now is to get you to safety. What's this prisoner doing here? This cell is supposed to be off limits. The usual mix up with the watch. I think I knock this stuff mind. over. Get that gate open. Stand back, prisoner. <sighs> Again, stuff like that. Just knocking crud over, kicking things around. Over by the window. Stay out of the way. Was unbelievable. Stay put, Good. Prisoner. Let's go. We're not out of this yet. You. I've seen you. Let me see. Oh! <laughs> Assassins attack my sons, and I am next. My blades are leading oh, that me feelings when along a secret escape route. 
assassins attack your sons. The entrance to that escape route leads through your cell. Why am I in jail? Perhaps the gods have placed you here so that we may meet. As for what you have done, it, it doesn't matter. matter. That is not what you will be remembered for. I am your emperor, Uriel Septim. By the grace of the gods, I serve Tamriel as her ruler. You are a citizen of Tamriel, and you too shall serve her in your own way. What should I do? You will find your own path. Take care. There will be blood and death before the end. Please, <laughs> I love his neutral smile. Ah, oh, it's just. So I am playing this on the new Xbox, which has both a uh, thing to boost the frame rate. I'm recording at 30 FPS to not immediately fill up my hard drive here. Um, but this is running at 60 for me. And it seems to be upping the resolution. But all that aside, this still looks like, look at this! Oh! The way the stones look in this game, it looks fucking awesome still. Oh my god. Hold on. Let's just... Everything kind of looks like cake, I always remember thinking. It all kind of looks like... Um... Oh, man. Like, yes, look at that! I'm helping. Don't look. Whoa! Good lord! Captain Leonard. Gracious. Sorry, sir. Can I? Um. How do you? Here we are. <laughs> Um, let's put on the sword. I don't think any of this has any armor, so it shouldn't matter. This is not worth anything, so there's no reason to carry it. Can I put a torch in my other hand? I can. Ooh. <laughs> oh, just the lighting in this game. Oh. I won't. Don't have to tell me twice. Cop. Right trigger. Come the boys. So, this was a video game I had to beg and plead my mother to let me buy initially came out and it was rated teen and then they revised it and put it out as M and I was allowed to play teen rated games because I was a teen but I was not allowed to play mature rated games and the way I convinced my mother to let me buy this game was I found a used copy from until they pulled it back and re-rated it as M uh I found like a copy they probably that the game store probably shouldn't have been selling because I think they had to literally recall them and redo the labeling on them. Um, and I got away with it that way. And thank God. Because what else could I possibly have spent my time on as a child? A rusty axe! Is that better? Probably not. Ooh. It's not better, it's worse. This was another thing I obsessed over. I remember there was an early video of this game that came out where somebody shot an arrow at this bucket and it moved like that. And again, just this is immersion right here. This is nowhere I'd rather be than seeing a, a, a rope move realistically. It's, it's still pretty magical. A club. A 
club. We'll take a torch. I don't think I need that club. I will definitely take a shield. Ooh. Okay, here's that bow. Skeleton is equipped! Let's take all that crap. What's in the sack? Don't need a quill. To use a bow, I need both bow and some arrows equipped. What's in the chest? Oh, man. Okay, I remember this <laughs> being more difficult than you'd think. But that one wasn't. Okay. Arrows on the back. But we simply must shoot this bucket. You're ready to practice with your bow. The bucket near the well make a good target. Oh, incredible! It was it was a very nice shot. You could pull it out of the bucket. Oh. Beyond words. And then give me that shield. And then look at us. Look at us. All right. Um, I got shield. How do you? There was like a a hot bar. There was some way to quick equip stuff. I remember it being a little funky. Did you hold down Y? No. Oh, how did you do it? Oh, no, that's your spell. Gosh, I could have sworn. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, you like hot, you equip stuff here. Okay. It's all, it's all coming back. So how do I hotkey... I guess the left. There we go. All right. Okay. Look at that. And you automatically pull up that torch. It's a beautiful thing. The goblin shaman. Let's practice casting spells. It's the right bumper. Boom. I can't see anything. It's very dark. Does this vine move? Oh, it does! Amazing! Oh! I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. What a bounty. Select the spell icon to bring up the magic tab. Frost damage, fire damage, hear my wounds. So I, something I remember about this game was because that sort of hot bar system was pretty unwieldy, it just wasn't fun to play this game. Um, as a magic character on the console on the PC, you could hit the numbers on the keyboard, but I remember multiple times as a kid saying I was going to play this game with magic and it just not being fun. You know, Skyrim, I remember making it a little bit better, but it was still kind of not great, if I remember right. How long have I been gone here? 18 minutes. Might be time to stop and make sure we're not getting too big. Oh! Just slapping away. My fatigue is low. Tell me about it. I'll say, too, there was probably a game that did that before this, but the notion of having a stamina bar, this is the first game I can remember that really used that. I know that, uh, you know, Demon Souls was not too long after this, and that obviously famously used that but this is kind of the first one I remember man it is so dark in this game gosh again I just the way this game uses 
light. I remember being, as like a mechanic, like I remember you'd go in places that were so dark, you would have to use a spell or a potion to see where you were going. Because if you had your torch out, people would see you. I think the main magical thing this game did was it was really good at implying a really complicated world and things like, well, if you're sneaking and you have your torch out, people will see it and they'll know you're there. So you have to use a thing so you can see in the dark. And how much of that was actually uh, being simulated and real, I really couldn't say, but it was, it did just enough of that to absolutely convince you it could be doing it. And that kind of got you most of the way. It was such a, um, It was so good at kind of BSing all these really complicated systems that it could or could not be actually simulating uh, that you just kind of wanted to believe it was. When we get into the world, we'll talk about all the radiant AI stuff more. I have a helmet now, right? Do I want to go heavy? We'll probably do heavy armor. Look at us. Look at us. I can't see anything. I also remember this game being um, almost unfathomably difficult as a child. And... Uh, truly driving myself to almost panic attacks when I would uh, go into one of the Oblivion Gates, as we'll get to later. Um, which is hilarious, because hey, you can just save at any point in this game if you mess up. There's no restriction on that. Um, and be just a video game, but I, I just... Everything felt so life or death in this game, I remember. Oh boy. What's that little cube? <laughs> it's just a little cube. <laughs> Perhaps that is the flaw of the ruby. Is that it's a cube. Cuby. Uh, you can hotkey items. Yeah. Did these move? Oh, they do! Incredible! <laughs> it's never going to get old. I'm going to get excited about it every time. That goblet hasn't seen you. So a big, you know, a big part of the sell of this game was you could play it all these different ways. You could be a big heavy guy or you could um, be sneaky and stealthy and sneak around. Um, and a big part of the thing, like the, the, the fantasy I had in my brain of this game before I played it was this notion of sneaking and breaking into the shops and stealing all the jewelry and then selling it to a fence and, and all these, um, you know, the notion that this was a big video game world, you could just do stuff in, and the game, there was no rules around it. It didn't judge you. If you wanted to sneak into somebody's house at night and kill them, you could. And not that I was particularly was fantasizing about doing that, but the fact that you could made the, oh, I wish I would have gotten them made the, just made the world feel so real and made everyone you talk to feel like it had a consequence, even when it probably actually didn't. Um, did that hurt me? No, it doesn't. Interesting. Huh. Look at this texture. It's like... This was back in the day, kind of the 360 PS3 time was when kind of the way you made something look good was you made it look shiny. And that kind of made everything look kind of wet and fleshy. 
I wonder if it would look different without a torch. Huh? It's still pretty wet and fleshy. <laughs> Fire doesn't look great. Nothing else looks pretty good, though. Take a dagger. Incredible! Look at this! Game. Ah. Uh. I want to say that's a mechanic of rolling things down to kill people was something that like really only appears right here. But the fact that you could do that and objects bonking into people killed them again, just mind blowing. I want to say there's a shaman in here. Can't see anything. Is that the shaman? He is! Oh no. Truly can see nothing. I almost want to say, like, your night sight was like a skill you could put money into. Maybe it wasn't. Don't want the rat meat. I will take your axe. Is this rat cooked? No. Oh, there's that shaman over there. Okay, let's get him a banana. Let's do it. Fucking get him. <laughs> oh, you've been got! Uh oh. Uh. This axe is two. I guess we want that. Didn't have a sword. Sword is one. Let's use that. I can't see anything. There we go. I thought there was a guy with a weird skull staff over here. Maybe I'm misremembering that. Oh, no, there he is. <laughs> Incredible. Pick a more you can carry. So this is the bad part of this game, is when you pick a more you can carry, you literally can't move at all. And this whole game is about picking up crap. So what are we, what are we holding that weighs a lot and is really cheap? We do not need four of those. That should be enough, right? Yeah. Uh, this game preys upon a compulsory urge to pick up everything. So that's 20 bucks. That's pretty good. I do need a repair hammer. Uh, there's a desperate desire I had to just leave nothing behind. Uh, and that is just not how this game works. Cheers. Look at this like, perfect hole in the wall. Oh, the lighting. It's so good. We need to get the Sorry. Damn it, it's that. Oh, you're not talking. No, she is not one of them. She can help us. She must help us. 
They cannot understand why I trust you. They've Tell me about it. seen what I've seen. How can I explain? Listen, you know the Nile. He's I like, his eyes are hand. just slightly, um, not quite focusing on you. Uh, then I, look, I'm not on good terms with the gods. I the all my days, and I chart my course by the cycles of the heavens. The skies are marked with numberless sparks, each a fire, and every one a sign. I know these stars well, and I wonder which sign marked your birth. So, this is a big deal. I remember I chose the Atronach first. Uh, because I thought the idea of absorbing magic was really cool. But it means it never recharges. Which means you have to always be drinking magic potions. Which effectively ruin magic for me. Uh, I don't know what's magic. No. Willpower and endurance. That's not bad. I'm probably just going to play this game as a big swordy, big heavy swordy guy. Uh, 90 points of health. Weakness to fire. Paralyze people. That's not bad. Mostly because the Thieves Guild stuff. I mean, there's a lot of times you have to steal things people, but you can't kill them. Store a powerful health spell. No poison. Become invisible is probably pretty good. That might be the one. Moving fast is also good. <laughs> 10 points to your strength and endurance. I mean, I'm just going to get that from leveling those things up. Let's do that. Yeah. The signs I read show the end of my path. Which is funny, too, because in this game, you can do a thing where you just wait. There's just a button. There's a whole button on your controller to wait and just hang out for a certain amount of time. And they have all these spells that are limited to certain times a day. But you can just wait. Oh, that's very silly. Your stars are not mine. Today the shadow shall hide you from destiny's cunning hounds. I'm always trying to hide from destiny's cunning hounds. No trophies of my triumphs precede me, but I have lived well, and my ghost shall rest easy. Men are but flesh and blood. They know it's their so true. doom, but not the hour. In this, I am blessed to see the hour of my death. To face my apportioned fate, then fall. It's a good attitude. My dreams grant me no opinions of success. Their compass ventures not beyond the doors of death. But in your face, I behold the sun's companion. The dawn of Akatosh's bright glory may banish the coming darkness. With such hope, and with the promise of your aid, my heart must be satisfied. It's a big diamond he's got. I go to my grave. A tongue shriller than all the music calls me. You shall follow me yet for a while. Then we must part. You may as well oh! <laughs> I crashed him. It's so crazy. You're the Emperor's bodyguards. Our job is to get him out of situations like this. My job is to make sure the Emperor gets out of here alive, and I intend to do it. Stick close and let us do our job. We'll be okay. Oh! I'm going to stop this video right here to uh, make sure I'm not... Make sure it's all doing good. Let's save.